Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of my website. You will see the details of the products and the services that I offer. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. This is a guided love message for you. Let's pick up your energy, your love situation. Then let's look into how your person feels about you, how they think about you. If there's a new love energy in here, I will let you know. But as I shuffle the cards, I want you, Scorpio, to visualize your situation, your love situation, your person. Think about them. Visualize them. Let's tap into their energy. What can I get for Scorpio? What is the guided love message for you? What's meant for you to know? I'm ready for you to know. This is for the Scorpio sign. My reading is normally, it could manifest in the next 24 hours or this month. I, I'm aiming to pick up a reading, a message for this week, this month, but normally it could manifest for three to six months. Okay. I've always meditated for. So you can randomly pick up a video in my um, list and play it whenever you feel like the, the title, the images, even the numbers, you know, the minutes. Um, whenever you needed guidance. So, this is for Scorpio, please. Well, you have a Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You've got the Queen of Pentacles in here. You've got the King of Swords. The Page of Pentacles in here. The King of Cups. The Five of Pentacles in here. The Ace of Cups. The Justice card. The Two of Cups. Okay, let's start your reading, Scorpio. Um, okay, so... The, the romantic situation that I'm picking up for you, Scorpio, is that... I believe you were given an offer, Scorpio. This is you. You have an offer of love coming from a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I believe that there was some sort of like someone. It could be an ex or someone you dated. Maybe this is a current relationship right now. But this is not someone new. Okay. Because in, in this reading... I'm like fully expressive of their feelings, like, you know, Knight of Cups. Whether it's fake or it's not fake, but there's a part of it that was real. Maybe it was exaggerated. Maybe there was a part of it that they wanted to be real, you know, like maybe they couldn't do it, but at least they wanted to be real for some of you guys. But, you know, someone really tried in here. I'm kind of picking it because the Knight of Cups, this is a sincere offer to a point where they try to somehow say something or express their feelings to you that was exaggerated but some of it is real you know some people when it when they fall in love they tend to express more than what they actually feel some with this reading you're connecting with someone who's very expressive who's very who express their feelings more than what it should be you know it it's a very passionate and a very expressive feelings in here. Like it could be you just met this person. They're saying I love you to you. you know, it's it's they could not contain the passion. So the way they express their feelings is very maybe surreal and real. But there was a feeling in here that it made you happy, Scorpio. Like you can't deny that whether it's real or not or maybe exaggerated. But there was a part of it that made you feel you belong. That made you feel good. There was something good in terms of feeling the feeling coming from this person. And you're missing that. Queen of Pentacles. You, you miss this person. You miss them. You miss having them. You miss having a lover. You miss having someone express to you their feeling, their care, their love, their attention. You miss it, Scorpio. You're missing it. 
you're missing them. Um, you got a king of swords, okay? It's like a stalemate. Yeah, I feel like you're not replying. They're not replying. They're not respect. We're not responding. This is still making here like cold, just watching, looking, watching, looking, watching, stalking, looking, watching, stalking. You know, King of Swords, cold. Yes, no. Yes, no. Looking, watching, stalking. So there's a lot of that vibe, like just, just being in, just being the fly in. You know, like what's that saying? You like a fly in the wall. <laughs> We're just circling around the vibe, the person, the romantic situation. Um, let's clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, look at that. See, there's a hidden Queen of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups. They're still in love with you and you're still in love with them. Or at least you want to be in love again and feel the feelings because i'm picking up a very universal or collective um feeling in here that i still would like to fall in love sunshine don't get me wrong i miss having someone i miss waking up in the morning having this text or i miss you or i love you or how stinks with you i miss having a person that i have a feeling queen of cups there's still who, whoever this person is, it's still connected to you in a feet in a 5D energetically, okay? And more than one. There's more than one in here. Okay. There's more than one person. Now, let us see who will actually connect with you. Who will connect with you? Who will message you this week, this month? You've got a page of pentacles. You've got a message. Let's see. This is different. And this is different. And this is different. So I'm picking up three scenarios for you, Scorpio. So someone young, someone younger. You know, this person This person likes to go to the gym. This person is very sporty. They like to go to the gym. Very sporty. They've got a very, I don't know, I'm picking up the word, eccentric lifestyle. I would say active but eccentric lifestyle they also have a very busy schedule scorpio very busy schedule or they move a lot they're busy very social media they're always online maybe but whoever this person is they will connect with you and it is clarified by the ace of wands so they would like to start all over again with you they want to be passionate with you the message that's coming from this person is quite basic, but it could spark to be an ace of wands. It w if you entertain, if you flirt, if you connect with this person, it would spark. It would give them hope that, okay, let's do an ace of wands, Scorpio. The minute this person feels like you're still in connect, like you're still interested to them, it will connect to an ace of wands. So you've got this person connecting with you soon. Now... This page of pentacles is different from the king of cups. Maybe this is someone new-ish. But this person is like hopeful that you would connect. That you would connect, yeah. They find you very smart. You're wondering, like, you're wondering, why is this person connecting with me? Why do they text me? Why do, like, why do they reach out? They find you very, very smart. Scorpio, it's hard to figure you out. There's something about you that they find mysterious and smart and they would like to explore that like they have so much vibe and energy to explore like you you are someone who's very mysterious to them and very smart okay now this king of cups is different from the page so this is possibly the same age of you or close to your age king of cups so the king of cups he is loyal he is available he is also very ambitious when it comes to love okay like whoever this person is, it's structured. Now, the thing with the King of Cups that's connecting with you, they're very picky. So this one is very specific. I feel like this person, if things weren't successful to, between the two of you, Scorpio, of, or if things weren't successful or if things were not successful or if things weren't, I would say, like um it like it didn't progress because they find or you maybe both but like it's having them like there's so much to do 
you know, maybe this person's divorcee, divorcee, but there's so much to do. Like, okay, I have feelings for you. They have feelings for you. Like both of you got has feelings, but you guys are both um, intense and you want this way. I want this way. So there's a lot of, like you have feelings, like you have feelings for each other, but there's a lot of indifferences. Like there's a lot of vibe that like you guys develop indifferent. You guys were indifferent. Like you started off really, really amazing connection. And then it turned out sour. It turned out to be you guys are developing indifferent vibe with each other. And instead of developing instead of developing to be together, you guys develop not to be together. So it fall out. You know, this connection fall out. They find you busy or they find you find them busy or they find you busy. Something to do with it fell. Like it's fallen out of love or it's falling out of. But they're very available. But you guys, I don't know, for some reason, the timing was off or wrong that you guys develop. You guys, instead of being stronger together, you develop the bond. You, you develop a very weak bond because of the timing. It could be work. Could be your belief, their belief. Someone is opinionated in here. And it was five of pentacles, it was gone. It was it disappeared. Yeah. Now this person will still return to you. They can't forget you. Although you guys, like you and this person develop, I would say, like it weakens. Like instead of being stronger together, the bond it became weak. But this person they identify you as their soulmate. They know that. Like this person, I know Scorpio, you're my soulmate. And because you're soulmate, I so know you kind of thing. That they somehow cling on to things that doesn't work instead of working. Like in a nutshell, if you guys break up or separate, it, it, it because you guys were focused on the weak side, not the strong side. Now, they know that now. Like this person, like this is a reading where... We started in the wrong foot, you know, like, no, we started something amazing and we weren't able to maintain that vibe. Yeah, nine of swords. I would say there was a lot of overloading details that you share or they share or around you or during the time that you guys were dating or getting to know. Um, there was a lot of things happening at, at your career or your life, your career. And for some of you, maybe this is a relationship where there was so much buildup of low vibe or dark energy that the universe decided to just, okay, you know, let's break you up before you can, you before you dest destroy the soulmate connection. You're still soulmate with this person because you've got a hidden energy. So this King of Cups is aiming to connect with you next month. I feel like this person would like to be your permanent Valentine's. Yeah, during the Valentine's um, week. You kind of pick, like, this person is still thinking. This person is, yeah, look at that. You've got the Ace of Cups, the Justice card, and the Two of Cups in here. I feel like this, this person will connect first, okay? This Page of Pentacles. And then it will be followed by the King of Cups. Now you're most likely you're most likely to entertain this two person. In the next two to three weeks, you're most likely to entertain this person, two person, two vibe. Now the King of Cups, once like if you push back or play Cupid or ignore the two of cups, or it took you longer to resp to respond to reply with the King of Cups. They will disappear and they will come back to you next month. I feel like they're also doing a lot in their life right now. Like the way they connect with you, they want to check in if you're still single or available. And I think you are. For some of you who is in a relationship, I feel like this person will just let you be. There's something that they would be prioritizing, but they will keep you. And the full... Like the full king of cups of this person is pretty much next month. Like that's chill, that's cool. Which is just right after the Mercury retrograde and the Mars retrograde. Because we started up slow this year. We started, we're starting slow actually. 
We're starting slow, guys. There's still some unfinished business that needs to happen. Kind of needs to happen this year. This month, sorry, guys. Look at that. I like this tarot deck. So be patient, Scorpio, okay? Be patient. I don't feel like you're chasing. I feel like you're more of a watcher in this reading. You're you're watching. You're also look you're more excited into new love, but there are some still a part of your energetic um journey like in your journey to new love or maybe to a finer love, to a mature love. There's still some I would say past energy that would like to reconnect or reoccur to you and um, give it some closure, you know, and um, yeah, so very chill, Scorpio, kind of pick up very chill, not in a hurry. I feel like you're more fo focused on coins or your routine, something to do with getting getting things back together. I feel like the vibe is that don't worry about love. It will follow you. You just focus on getting back to your Something to do with routine, something to do with like a lifestyle correction is what you are doing lately or now. So don't worry, love is going to be here. You will always have love around you and you're manifesting new love. So you might not be so excited to the following people. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you connected with it. With it, if you do, click the bell, click subscribe. I also invite you guys to check out our website. The details of the website is down in the description box below. Check out the website, guys. We have a new product, a new merch. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free tracking number. Tracking number. And um, it is the Aura Ritual Candle. It's just one candle that you need with new moon and full moon that can be personalized. It represents the aura of the Scorpio. So when you light it up, you know, there's a glow in the label that we've worked towards an Aura Graphic Artist. It is also curated by our in-house Reiki. So there's a lot of good vibe, holistic vibe that was put onto this project. And of course, most especially... The profit goes to my charity. So thank you for your support in here, Scorpio. I know I can count on you. And I will see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.